Twelfth Night is a very fun show, and out of all of Shakespeare, I think that's the one that gets me the most um, excited because every version out of it that I've seen, I've laughed out loud. It's been a roller coaster, but like a good one, like the one you don't want to get off because it's been a great run. The way our Twelfth Night is, it starts in the sort of Victorian world as we expect it to be, and then the world crashes apart for Viola and Sebastian. And so in that, the world crashes apart and goes into the sort of steampunk, sci-fi world a little bit. Shakespeare's play's Twelfth Night begins with the story of Viola and her twin brother Sebastian. Suddenly there's this storm that comes and destroys their ship, uh, separating the two twins. We got Viola, the female, with uh, someone else from the ship talking, asking where she is and who's the ruler, and then out comes Duke Orsino. Viola has kind of a dual identity. First and foremost, she is Viola, but she also adopts the um, facade of Cesario, a page uh, servant who works for the Duke Orsino. When Viola comes as Cesario, Duke Orsino is like, oh wow, this guy is like really cool and you know, he's my best friend now. And it makes for some uh, pretty funny interactions between the two, especially because she is dressed as a man at that point. <laughs> she loves me, sure. The manner of his gait. When you um, put a show up on stage, you see what the play really is. It's not, it's not a bunch of words on the page. It's this experience. 